Always a good day to shoot a 9mm PCC. We got a Strybog SP9 A3 here. This is a Glock fed version. Let's have some fun. Talk a little bit more as we go. All right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> This thing is an absolute laser beam. Did you pick up on those triple taps on those plates before they fell? Super fast follow-up shots with this trigger. What a great setup. Welcome back everybody. Eric here with IRAC Veteran 8888. Oh yeah, really cool setup now. You know that we do run a lot of SBRs and pistols here on the channel, uh, but of course with all these brace shenanigans going on, um, this rifle is a really cool setup here and our friends at Gun Zone Deals are nice enough to send this particular one out for us to have a look at and to show you a couple of things. Rex Arms makes this really awesome folding stock adapter. Okay, so it does have a folding stock. Of course you have adjustable comb height, adjustable length of pull, which is really nice. Um, if you do want to pick one up at Gun Zone Deals, just use the code IV8888 and you can get yourself a nice little discount. And a big thanks to them for sending out this particular setup for us to show off here for you today. And Rex Arms, of course, doing a great job with their folding stock adapter. On this particular gun, it is threaded half by 28. We're running a Griffin Armament Rev 9. Big shout out to them too, really good folks there. Uh, this one is in the K configuration. This is our older Rev 9 that has been through the ringer a little bit. Of course, it's running great. Those were some Remington 9mm subs that we ran there in the intro to this video. Um, and those are running quite well. That's a 24 round OEM Glock magazine. This particular gun is, of course, Glock fed. A few of the Strybogs, you notice that the early ones came in with the straight mags. Then after a lot of feedback from the community, um, Grand Power fixed the straight mag issue and offered the curved magazines. And then after much <laughs> feedback from many, many people wanting a Glock fed version, they then released their Glock fed SP9. This one is the A3, which means it is, um, is a delayed blowback. It uses rollers, okay? Very, very cool setup. I really do like these guns a lot. They do have backup peep sights, which with this particular stock design is a little hard to get behind the peep sights. So we opted to drop on a PA uh, MD25. This one has the ACSS CQB reticle in it. And of course, very easy red dot to shoot. So we dropped this red dot on there. This one does have the really nice extended rail. So with the 16 inch barrel, you get an eight sided rail, which gives you M-lock through and throughout. And what's cool about this rail too, is you've got the M-lock accessory slots on the top of the rail. Normally you would have a pick rail all the way across the top, but I kind of like that, that they kept it smooth because it keeps it nice and light and compact and you only put the rail where you need it. And I do like having that bit of an offset, right? That, that kind of uh, a bit of cant uh, where those M-lock slots are on these positions. So if you're running your light, see, your hand is already gonna kind of naturally find that spot. So if you had a light just with a push button on the back and you didn't want to run a pressure pad back, that would be a great way to put a light up front. So really cool stuff. And honestly, this gun is not very heavy. I expected a 16 inch uh, barrel to be a little heavier, but I find that this gun's actually incredibly easy to maneuver fast to operate, fast cycling, fast shooting, and soft shooting at that. So we're gonna run a variety of different ammo, including some carry rounds. Those were some subs. Let's try some supers. This is a Glock, uh, I'm sorry, a um, Magpul Glock magazine that holds 27 shots. Let's give it a try. The bolt stop is ambidextrous. It's just a little piece of form sheet metal. You can get to it from either side of the gun. You also have ambidextrous safety and ambidextrous magazine release. The trigger on this gun is absolutely fantastic. So I'm gonna shoot fast, okay? Let's go. This is some 124 grain Bellon ball ammunition. This is full NATO spec ball ammo. Just 
stupid accurate. Mega, mega, mega accurate. It just puts every round exactly where I'm looking. And yes, we do have some sodas. We're gonna shoot the carry rounds at those. <laughs> So those double taps that I'm doing there on those uh, gongs, those are only four inch targets. The head area in those gongs, they're, they're not very big. They're like four by four. So on that long range target back there, that's a 10 inch gong and I'm kind of shooting pretty quick and I'm tagging that gong and like putting all the rounds in about the size of a fist. So the nice thing about that 16 inch barrel, one thing that would might be better than a standard, you know, SBR or a PCC with a brace on it with a shorter barrel or in a K configuration, like with a little four or five inch barrel, you do get the extra velocity. You get better accuracy, a little more velocity. So that might be one, you know, benefit to that. You can see here on the trigger uh, assembly, the trigger group assembly, you do have this kind of textured area right here in front of the magwell. So if you're wearing gloves, you know, you can get a really good purchase on it. You've also got some wonderful texture here on the pistol grip. Very easy to hold on to. It's a very sensible gun. Um, of course, I think that we will end up SBR in one of these just because, heck, why, why wouldn't you, right? But um, for this configuration, I could see this as being great for three gun. Like some people run nine millimeter uh, PCCs in three gun competition. You could totally clear a plate rack with this sucker in short order. And um, the nice thing about the Strybogs as well is that they do come in at a very fair price point. They are probably inheritedly a little bit more expensive than a CZ Scorpion, but then probably, of course, cheaper than like a SIG MPX or something like that. So it, it's kind of in the middle in terms of price, but I think it does have a lot to offer. And if you're a person that's already running a, a ton of Glock mags anyway, this is a great way to add a Glock fed carbine into your setup. Um, and really cool. These are made in, uh, in Slovakia. So this is a Slovakian, you know, a variant of their S Slovakian service, um, you know, carbine that's in the pistol caliber carbine. All right, we're gonna try some uh, defensive ammunition out. We got some Remington Ultimate Defense. That's 124 grain plus P, I believe. Yeah, that is plus P hollow point. And this is a Glock OEM 17 round model 17 magazine. Of course, this thing is eating everything we can throw in it in terms of ammunition, and it's working from every type of magazine that we've tried. So let's try some hollow points, and we're gonna take out our sodas here and see how it is gonna go. And of course, our Griffin uh, Rev 9 is getting nice and hot. We can uh, see a nice mirage coming off of that. We're definitely putting a lot of rounds through this thing. We'll shoot our hollow point ammo, and then we will uh, try a couple of subs out. We got a few more mags of subs to try. Okay, let's get it. I'm gonna try shooting, the, this thing's really accurate. I'm gonna try shooting the cap off of that one bottle. Uh, I've got this thing dialed in really nice. I'm gonna just graze the cap and see if we can make some soda geysers. It's not enough to just shoot the soda. We might put one right into the body of the soda, but the first one, I'm gonna shoot the cap off and then shoot the soda directly next to it. That way, hopefully in the slow-mo clip, you'll see both sodas kind of going nuts at one time. If, if that one shoots a geyser and stays there and I don't knock it over, we should in theory have a geyser with a soda exploding next to it. That's what I'm going for, okay? You ready? I'm gonna shoot the, I'm gonna shoot the one on the left and then quickly tag the one right next to it. I shot the cap off but it, wasn't, it didn't send the fizz up like I wanted it to. That's accurate though. Interesting, all right, let's try again. Look at that, I shot the cap right off of it, but it, maybe we should have shook them up first. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I got a few of these rounds left. Let me stop for a second. Let me grab a couple of sodas. Let's try that shot again. I think we can do it. Okay, we're gonna reset this, we've got the soda on the left is shook up really good. I'm gonna try shooting the cap off and see if we get a geyser, and then I'm gonna immediately hit the soda right next to it. All right, let's see if we get the re de desired result. <laughs> All right, gopher.
Wow. It's accurate. We have one stoppage there with the Golden Sabres. Failure to feed. Two failures to feed out of that magazine. That's a Glock OEM 17 round magazine. Interesting. All right, let's try some subs. Now these subs are nice and quiet. We're gonna go through and uh, take out some targets here. Have to do a little bit more experimentation to see what, what the hollow points are doing, but um, that could just be the particular ogive of that projectile or the shape of that projectile or the magazine. Lots of things could be at fault. how ridiculously accurate this thing is it's a little gassy but with the delayed blowback it is certainly a very soft shooting gun especially with the 16 inch barrel beautiful this thing's actually quite nice okay a couple more rounds All right, beautiful, really cool stuff. It is never a bad day to shoot a PCC. I love shooting nine millimeter. It's just soft recoil. Um, the ammo's cheaper. You can definitely, you know, suppress it a lot easier. So, you know, PCCs have some really interesting benefits to them. Um, this is a really cool setup. And a big thanks to Gun Zone Deals for sending this particular gun out for us to have a look at and show off for you here on the channel. Um, we got many more videos on the way and don't forget, if you want to go to Gun Zone Deals, get yourself a little discount, use the code IV8888, save yourself some money, uh, which is always a good thing. So stay on the lookout in the future. We're probably going to do a video on an SBR version of this particular gun, so stay tuned for that. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Many more videos on the way. We'll see you soon.